Now the president shall lead the groundbreaking ceremony that will signal the start of the M Terra Solar Project. To assist the president, may we call on the ALG Secretary John Vic Remulia, Special Assistant to the President for Investment and Economic Affairs, Frederick Go, Senator Loren Legarda, Meralco Chairman and CEO Manuel V. Panghilinan, MGEN President and CEO Emmanuel Rubio, and Meralco Vice Chairman Lance Gokongwe. Now let us witness the President as he places the blueprints the newspaper and coins inside the time capsule Now that the time capsule has been sealed, the president shall lower the time capsule. At this point, we witness as the president and our guest will now pour soil over the time capsule. And there you have it. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for leading the groundbreaking and capsule laying. Mr. President, last week I began my welcome remarks with a thoughtful quote from the Colombian President. Unfortunately, President Gustavo Petro has not said much about solar energy. So that leaves me without an introductory handshake today. But let me just say that we are very pleased and very honored to have Your Excellency's presence today. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the President and your government for supporting this project of national and international significance. So thank you very much, Mr. President. So welcome to Barangay Calios, the town of Peñaranda, which will soon become famous as the main host for the world's largest solar facility on a single site. When fully completed by 2027, will actually energize the first phase in March of 2026. Isn't that right, Manny? Um, we will deliver 4,500 megawatt hours of clean energy, enough to power 2.4 million homes and eliminate 3.6 million tons of carbon emissions annually, the equivalent of pulling 3 million cars off our roads. But numbers alone fail to articulate the full significance of this project. I think we're making a statement here today that the Philippines is not only keeping pace with the global energy trans transition, but more so we express our intention, the Philippines' intention to lead that migration from thermal to renewables. We expect our nation's power supply to increase at a steady pace to meet our growing demand in the next few years. Nonetheless, 
We are continuously diagnosing and urgently addressing power shortages, as well as the systemic causes of blackouts in unserved and underserved areas. In the heart of Luzon, a new dawn is breaking. Today, we start building yet another milestone for a brighter tomorrow. Thank you, Bulacan and Nueva Ecija, for providing the foundation for our sustainable future. Dini na ako tumanda sa gapan. Pero ngayon ko lang naramdaman na may pag-asa ang kinabukasan ng mga apo ko. This is the best way forward for our industry and our country. I'm honored to be part of history in the making. The largest single-site solar project and battery energy storage system in the world rises in the Philippines. Proud Bulakenya ako. Mas proud ngayon kasi makikilala kami sa buong mundo dahil sa Terra Solar. Bukod dyan ay dadami ang trabaho at lalago ang negosyo dito sa amin. The technology we are deploying here is cutting edge. Ensuring a more reliable energy system for the Philippines. Sana lumaki ako sa mundong malinis, maayos, at mapayapa. Terra Solar is more than just a power project. It is our commitment to a greener and sustainable future. We aim to provide a substantial percentage of the Philippines' energy needs, which will offset carbon dioxide emissions by 4.3 million tons annually. We are building on the hopes and dreams of the communities we serve. Terra Solar is a beacon of progress, showing the world that the Philippines is taking both steps in the clean energy revolution. With a track record of over 120 years and a clear roadmap to a brighter future, we look forward to providing better lives for all of us. Bukas! Tomorrow! Bukas! Bukas! Tomorrow! Bukas! Tomorrow! Bukas! Susikat ng araw! Para sa akin! Para sa amin! Para sa ating lahat! Senator Lauren Legarda, our longtime champion for green and environmental issues in the Philippines. When we weren't listening to the issues of environment, of ecology, of uh, uh, renewables, I remember we were together in the Senate and she was already, she was already championing all of these issues when uh, they were not as uh, critical as they certainly are now. So congratulations on your foresight uh, in seeing that we would have to end up here at some point. Members of the House of Representatives, Peñaranda Municipal Mayor Joselito Ramos, other local government officials, officials and employees of the Manila Electric Company, of course led by Chairman and CEO Manny Pangilinan, our partners, of course, in the private sector, my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, we take a leap towards the future, driven by innovation and sustained by our collective hope for a cleaner and greener Philippines. We stand together at the site of what will become the largest integrated solar and battery storage facility in the world the Terra Solar Project. This landmark project will put our country on the map as a leader in renewable energy. To Meralco, Terra Solar Philippines Inc., Solar Philippines New Energy Corporation, MGen Renewable Energy Inc., and other partners behind these projects, your efforts have shown that we can forge ahead as key players in the world's energy revolution. The Terra Solar Power Project is de designed to address two critical challenges of our time. The surging demand for electricity and the pressing need to shift to renewable and sustainable sources of that energy. With an investment of over 200 billion pesos, it demonstrate, this demonstrates confidence in, in the stakeholders in our nation's potential and our commitment to securing a sta stable, steady, reliable and sustainable power supply. Once fully operational by 2027, 
This facility will deliver 3,500 megawatts peak of solar power to the Luzon grid with 4,500 megawatt hour of battery st energy storage. A 13 kilometer 500 kilovolt transmission line will connect this project to the power grid, ensuring that clean energy reaches Filipino homes and businesses with efficiency. This project will energize over 2 million households and reduce carbon emissions by more than 4.3 million metric tons annually. To put that into perspective, it is the equivalent of removing 3 million gasoline-powered cars from our roads. Decisive action towards helping address global warming and climate change. By leveraging our abundant solar resources, the Terra Solar Project will help stabilize our power supply reduce energy costs, and contribute significantly to our target of 35% renewable energy share in the power generation mix by the year 2030. This initiative will also benefit the communities that host it, spanning five municipalities across Nueva and Bulacan. It is estimated that the project will create over 10,000 jobs Certainly, it will stimulate local economies and open countless opportunities for growth and development in those communities. Over the next decade, it is poised to generate nearly 23 billion pesos in financial benefits, resources that will pave the way for even greater progress. The impacts and advancements of this project are amongst those that we envisioned when I spoke about energy in my recent State of the Nation address. We are working towards a steady and reliable power supply that will meet the demands of today and continuously fuel our ambitions for tomorrow. Projects like Terra Solar bring us closer to that vision. I call on all the government agencies, national, local, and private sector entities to fully support this endeavor by ensuring its timely completion. Let us do the same for all renewable projects. From powering our homes and industries to illuminating our collective aspirations, let this serve as a reminder. When we come together, united in purpose and action, there is no task too daunting, no challenge too great, and no goal beyond our reach. The strong typhoons that we have been experiencing should further strengthen our resolve to find and facilitate solutions that will save our planet and the future of mankind. I hope that beyond the technical and economic milestones brought about by this project, let us remember the broader goal that drives us. It is a bagong Pilipinas where our needs are met responsibly, equitably, and sustainably. Let us ensure that Terra Solar becomes a beacon of hope and progress, a testament to what we can achieve when we put, protect and preserve our natural resources while drawing strength from its abundance. Together, let us create a brighter, more inclusive, more sustainable future for all Filipinos. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay kayo lahat. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Thank you, Mr. President. Excited at the groundbreaking ceremony for uh, this uh, very, very important project on Terra Solar. Uh, this is uh, the largest solar facility, solar power facility with battery. Meron 3,500 sa ibang lugar na 3,500 hectares. Ngunit yung kanila walang baterya. Ito lang ang una sa buong mundo na nagkaroon tayo nag, nagkaroon ng hindi lamang solar na 3 uh, 3 and a half thousand hectares kung hindi may battery pa rin para patuloy tuloy-tuloy ang uh, pagbigay ng uh, ng kuryente sa grid at uh, ito talaga ay uh, uh, napakahalaga dahil uh, nakikita natin sa pag uh, pag uh, advance ng teknolohiya ang pangangailangan sa power ay pataas ng pataas padami ng parami Kaya iso, eh bagay, naman, bagay na bagay sa atin ang solar dahil alam naman ninyo kahit umuulan may araw pa rin at uh, nakakapagbigay pa ng, ng power ang solar. Kaya uh, we're, as I said, we are very excited and we congratulate all of those who put the, who put the project together and we will be watching it 
and uh, doing all that we can to help it along to make sure that it is a success. Okay?